Hi, my name is Quasar49, and I've waited almost a year to make this one video. Almost a year to be able to say these exact words without any form of doubt that what I'm about to reveal will be one of the biggest projects I've had the pleasure of bringing to life. But before I do that, I have a few things to say. For those that don't know, this month saw a wrap on the Clock Tower Saga, a series created for building the hype up to what is about to be explained today. The series was a combination of in-game mysteries, videos, and posts that lasted from June to November of 2018. At the end of the series finale, the story was revealed, all mysteries were explained, and the cause of all this was unveiled. Something named... Azavin. A slow stream of screenshots would later follow, changes were made to the appearance of this channel, and the final question continued to survive. What is it? What have you been waiting for all this time? What is Azavin? And now we find ourselves at the final chapter. But for this moment, before almost a full year of working hard on my end and mystery on yours comes to a final close, unless of course you're watching this in the future, can I ask you... Have you had fun? That's all I and anyone else normally cares about. Having fun. It's why we play here. Why we create. Why we make videos. Why we do anything that we've ever wanted to do. In most cases, it's all for happiness. Fun. And if you guys have had it, then... That's all that matters to me. So, anyway, enough of the serious stuff. No more stalling. No more waiting, no more mystery, and no more tricks up my sleeve for now at least. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Quasar49, and here is what you have to look forward to about Azavin. Before we get into everything, I'm still going to be keeping most of the locations in Azavin a secret, which brings me to the first and most important aspect of the game, genre. It's no surprise that I want to make the theme of this game about adventure, mystery, and a bit of exploration, which is why even the screenshots on Twitter have been close-up photos or extremely vague. Azavin is a detailed steampunk social game with mystery and puzzle elements, but it's not as simplistic as that description sounds. Azavin itself is a massive city being held up by big rusty legs that stand in an endless sea. When you arrive here, you'll be able to venture into this strange world and try to uncover its secrets, while exploring exploring the dark alleyways, owning houses, trading weapons, and working together with your friends. But that's not necessarily the aim. To be honest, you make the aims. You can even choose what class of person you are. There are two different kinds of people in this world, those that live on the city surface and those that live below, in the dark passages and tunnels that are called the underground. Of course, living in a place like that can cause some problems. The people of the Overground like to keep things running, like businesses, ships that visit, and so on. And the people of the Underground have to keep the city standing. They're like maintenance workers and builders that keep the giant boilers, moaning generators, and hissing steam pipes working all day and night. But some of them, of course, don't want to stay down there. And it's your choice whether to join them in their fight for fairness or not. The second thing you need to know is about the environment. Azavin is... Oh god, it, it's it's simply huge. Seriously, it's, it's really, really huge. In Vision Park, it's become kind of a joke at this point that I simply can't put much more into the game without taking something else out. Otherwise... L-A-G! LAG! So, the park is big, has plenty of rides, but because of that, and because you need to be able to actually play the game, it's not highly detailed or realistic. Azavin, on the other hand... Azavin is almost two times larger than Vision Park, and is far more detail-focused, because I don't have as many moving parts in Azavin as there are in Vision Park. This means there was more room to go crazy on atmosphere and detailing. Windmills turn slowly in the distance, grass grows from every crack in the city walls, massive rusted pipes hiss away as steam rushes through them. It's not meant to be super realistic, but Azavin has a lot more atmosphere and history to it than VP does. 
As I mentioned earlier, there's no proper aim in this game either. You can just do whatever you like and live in a world where this insane looking place actually exists if you want to. You want to explore? You can do that. You want to live in a city? You can do that. Jobs, co-op, puzzles, mysteries, mechanics, and adventures, history, ruins, abandoned places, and underground tunnels. Here today, somewhere else tomorrow! Travel, change, excitement! You haven't been waiting over six months for nothing. So, what I'm trying to get across here is, there's just too much for me to tell you about all in one video, or at least a video that doesn't spoil every surprise. For almost a year, I've been working on this behind the scenes, as well as releasing Vision Park updates. Every month, I like to change things up, and I've made a promise to you all that I've kept, but it hasn't come without some frustrations. To put it as quickly as I can so I can wrap this thing up, Azavin is my world. A place I would want to go to. Of course, many of you also wish Vision Park was real, so we might be getting closer to that than this, but still. For all of this year, there have been ups and downs. Personal stuff that all of us have had to deal with in our lives. But we've made it through. And at its core, although I made Azavin as a place for me to enjoy at first, one month into production, I saw just how much bigger VP was getting. The support and enjoyment you were showing for the park was insane! Some of you watching this go to the park every day! Stay as long as you can! Treating it like a real job or just hanging out with friends and having fun. And that again, is what it all comes down to. Having fun. And I want to keep that positivity going, keep you creating, keep you inspired, keep you being the fantastic people you are. And if we do that, I'm having fun as well. So on January 5th, 2019, the Alpha for Azavin will be released my biggest and most detailed game yet. And while it may not be a new theme park, that doesn't mean it isn't for you. Because without you, I wouldn't have been able to make it. I don't think I would still be making updates for VP, or even considering making something this big. But because of you sticking around, here we are, together, spreading positivity, creativity, and fun across the website, as well as in our real lives. And let's make sure 2019 can be even better. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. My name is Quasar49, and I'll see you in Azavin.